Hey guys, my name is Jess McDonald. It's the 17th of February today, and you're watching GameSpot News. Here's some stories you can tell your friends about. First up, we got some killer Rise of the Tomb Raider screenshots, and that adjective is actually pretty appropriate since Lara seems to be having a really bad time. Venturing through the snowy Siberian wilderness, Lara is after proof of all the nastiness that happened to her in the previous game. This time around, there'll be a day-night system and dynamic weather. If these screenshots are anything to go by, a lot of that dynamic weather can be summed up into snow and slightly more snow. Lara's all rugged up this time, but she's still finding it hard to get along with the local wildlife, as illustrated by a bear attack screenshot. You can check out the great-looking collection of images for yourself on GameSpot. 2015's biggest gaming controversy so far is still raging as developer Ready at Dawn finally broke their silence on discussing the length of The Order 1886. Ready at Dawn's Andre Pacino, who previously said he was done commenting on rumors about the length of the game, has now said at a Milan press conference that, quote, at a normal pace and difficulty level, you can finish the game in a window between 8 and 10 hours. He also made the comment that gamers opting to play on hard mode would require at least 12 hours to play the order through. All these figures have been calculated by Ready at Dawn's internal teams, and with that, hopefully we can put all this length drama to bed. Finally, if you're psyched for the upcoming Legend of Zelda for Wii U, you'll be glad to hear that the game world is going to be as big as the system can handle. Serious producer Eiji Numa told Game Reactor magazine, quote, Ever since we made the very first generation of Legend of Zelda games, we've had as large a world as can be realized with the hardware. So you could say it was inevitable that we've now done the same with the new Wii U title. Hopefully this speaks to the impressive size of the game world and not to the underpowered Wii U. Anuma went on to say that while he thinks all Zelda games are open world, since they all offer huge worlds to explore, he explained, What's changed now is that the hardware has progressed to the point that you can now explore this vast world seamlessly. The underpinning of the game hasn't changed. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited to play the new Zelda on Wii U and what's your favorite Zelda game. You can head to GameSpot where we've got stories on The Last Guardian and an Xbox sale. That is it from me today. I'll be back same time tomorrow with a bunch more news, so I hope to see you then.